Well, welcome back. It is time for the Hot Topic Buzz. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan pressing the Federal Trade Commissioner, uh, Lena Khan, on what he called an obsession with Twitter CEO Elon Musk. Watch this. You've asked for every single communication relating to Elon Musk, not communications that he just sent to someone or some or communications he received. That, that actually seems more, actually more than harassment. That seems like almost an obsession. Why such an intense focus? It was found that Twitter's lax privacy policies allowed unauthorized users to co-opt Twitter accounts. The consent decree that we have prohibits Twitter from sharing personal information with third parties. When we read in the papers, like everybody else, that Twitter may have granted access to third parties, that's what our teams were seeking information about. Twitter is asking a federal court to stop government data oversight of the social media giant, claiming that it's given more than 22,000 documents to the FTC so far. The FTC's probe centers around whether Musk violated a privacy settlement from May of 2022 that was agreed upon before he took over as CEO. Rebecca, uh, this smells of, uh, once again, politicization. I'm wondering uh, why they are probing Elon Musk. What's your take? Well, it's clear to me um, that we see that this is, a, a, you know, an, a harassment potentially campaign could be. We, we're looking for the details, right? But we know that the, the big tech did not, we're not thrilled with Elon Musk taking over Twitter. We obviously see Meta coming up with threads as an alternative now to continue to have maybe more uh, control over the, over, over the social constructs conversation that Americans want to have. You know, we still don't have 100% free speech on Twitter, but it certainly has improved. And they don't like that necessarily necessarily the FTC. And this is one way to harass a CEO is to continuously request documentation. You have to have an com entire compliance department just to deal with the federal government regulators. And this is a way yeah. that businesses get stifled. Yeah, but Joe, come on, let's be clear. Uh, Elon Musk exposed collusion between uh, Twitter and government officials. We all know now how there were a thousand people, we are told, throughout different government agencies with their own lists of people to shut down on Twitter, with their own recommendations, quote unquote, for Twitter to censor information, amplify lies and suppress truth. Is that the reason that the FTC is investigating Twitter. Of course it's the reason. Look, when Elon Musk was making spaceships and electric vehicles, the left loved him. Uh, <laughs> Teslas were, were going to replace the Subaru Forester as like right, the vehicle right. uh, of, of the left. Uh, and even Twitter. Twitter was the lingua franca of politics until uh, Elon Musk came out and exposed Twitter for what they were and also subsequently sort of made some tweets indicating he might have some right-leaning views. Once he did that, the bullseye of the federal government went on him. Him. It didn't go on Zuckerberg and the others because they tow the party line, they tow the narrative, and they're out of the, the, the crosshairs. Yeah, that is exactly right. Let's take a short.